Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. On this episode we're looking at the Clue Jr. game, The Case of the Hidden Toys. This is from 1995 from Parker Brothers. Two to four players. Ages five to eight is the designed age group. This is number 00409 of the Parker Brothers catalog. It's got kind of a 90s look to it, but let's take a look at what we've got here. This is a warning here for ages 3 and under because of the small parts. But it's definitely not as complicated as regular Clue. So great for kids that want to play Clue, but probably aren't developmentally capable of doing the regular version. So let's open this up and see what the components look like. Here's our game board. It's obviously not nearly as big as regular Clue and there are only four destinations. They are all marked with these circles. That's where the things go. Here's the lemonade stand. There's a tree, a mailbox, and a birdhouse. So let's take a look at our other pieces. The stickers actually held up pretty well on here. Obviously there's going to be some soiling. This is a marker from some kid playing with it. But it's held up pretty well. This is a little flimsier than a lot of board games. So just be aware of that. It will warp. And you'll want to check the spine of course. So your instructions are here on the insert. Then we've got our pieces, which I have in plastic bags, and a six-sided die, and of course our clue sheet. Now obviously this is a copy of the original. Whoever owned this set before me just photocopied a bunch of them to make new ones. But we've got our suspects list here. We've got our lemonade stand, birdhouse, mailbox, treehouse, Mortimer Mustard, Samantha Scarlet, Peter Plum, Greta Green, and then we've got a dog, rabbit, fish, cat, bird, glove, teddy bear, roller skate, truck, and ball. So I'm sure this is pretty standardized stuff. I don't know if this is specific to this version of it or not. Uh, I haven't looked at too many of the Clue Juniors. But I'm a big Clue fan. So that's what this sheet looks like. Pretty simplistic. The art on it isn't too bad. Very straightforward. So, it's the same on both sides. So that's the clue sheet. Let's look at the rest of these pieces and see what we've got. Okay, so, there's one piece that is fairly complicated. It's this one here. It folds up to form a little square. It comes apart fairly easily too, so don't worry about it being assembled in the box. And that's for the clubhouse. Then there's also the birdhouse. The lemonade stand, the mailbox, and lastly the tree house. Now these actually go on the stands, and the stands are also clues, because the destination is where they get the clue. So there are five of orange and five of green. These are important to the game. They're not just regular stands because on the bottom are stickers with clues on them. So you got the teddy bear, the ball, truck, roller skates, and the baseball glove on the orange. And on the green, you got a bird, you got the dog, we got the bunny rabbit and the fish and finally the cat. So the outdoor stuff goes on the green ones and the kids go on the orange ones. So 
So here's our kids, our investigators. These are nice cardstock pieces. They're pretty thick, sturdy. They've held up pretty well over the last 20 plus years. I would say that's pretty impressive. Same with the stickers on the bases. The bases have held up pretty well too. This is really good plastic. The die is a little banged up. As you can see, it's a D6. On one side, we've got a skateboard, a number four, two, three, another two, and then a magnifying glass. So it's fairly easy to replicate this if you have to, but this is going to be important and these bases are probably harder to find complete than anything else. Uh, if you're missing one of these, these would be fairly easy to replicate. You could probably replicate the tree and the other assorted pieces like this. So I'm not as worried about missing a few of those, but if you're missing the bases, they do have the clues on the bottom and they are kind of a specific design. So make sure you have all five of the green and all five of the orange and that the stickers are at least intact if possible. You could probably find a way to replicate the stickers but you'll definitely want to have all the pieces if you're a collector. And that is what is inside the Clue Jr. The Case of the Hidden Toys board game from 1995 from Parker Brothers. It's actually held up very, very well over time, even with use. Uh, you can see some of the pieces were a little banged up, but they've held up pretty well. It's a pretty decent set. You've got a pretty simplistic version of Clue for the kids, which is great. So if you get a chance to pick this up and add it to your collection for your kids, I would definitely say do it. It'll help them with their learning and logic skills and help them develop into regular Clue. So then you can play with them and have a lot more fun. So a great entry into the Clue franchise. A good addition to any collection, I think, for Clue collectors. So yeah, pretty cool little game. So if you get a chance to check it out, I'd recommend it. But we've seen what's in the box. You've heard my opinion on it. That's going to wrap up this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss future reviews and unboxings. If you want to help the channel in other ways, links are in the description and on the About page. And of course, we hope to see you on the next one.